Hey everyone, it's Kevin, Kimberly, Abby and Izzy from Our Way Out, and we are gearing up for the Oki Home Setting Expo 2023. We've been working really hard to get all of our chores done so that we can come there to meet you guys. If you see us, happen to see us there, come up and say hi. We may have something for you. And also, if we can get to 1,000 subscribers by Friday, we will go live and let you see some of the expo for yourself live as it's happening. We know many of y'all may not be able to attend and may want to see it. So if you can get us there, we'll be sure to make sure that you see some of what's going on because it is an event you do not want to miss. Now that we've done that, we are fixing to get into what we are really here to do. We are going to be planting potatoes. Yes, it is almost June and we are extremely late, but when we purchased them back in February, we got nothing but rain, 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 and the ground was too wet. It finally dried out. We are really late, but everybody here lately has been talking about potatoes, and so it's got it on our mind that we've got to get them done. So although it's so about to be summer or the middle of summer, they may not do well, but it's better than letting them go to waste. So we're fixing to get with it. I know they look kind of crazy in the bags. Just ignore that and don't judge us for that, because like I said, we had every intention to get them done sooner, but things just happen. So I've already got the ground ready. We're fixing to take our middle busting plow and make the rows. It's not what we usually make rows with, but like I said, we're gearing up and getting ready to go to the expo. So we're kind of pressed for time and we want to get it done before we go. So come along with us and watch us and see how we plant potatoes. Yep. Okay, so this is what this mess looks like on the inside. They, are, they have all grown some roots and have grown through the bag. And so this is going to be a mess to straighten out, but we are gonna get it done. Normally you can just open the bag and dump them out, but these are so stuck through the bag that I had to cut it open. No more May potatoes for us. <laughs> but like I said, the weather was not cooperating. So we've got two bags. These are red Pontiac. This is the second bag of them. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's get... Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Feed you dirty. I know. I may end up with mine off for it's over with. Okay, so this is what our two bags of potatoes look like. Um, we have two bags of red Pontiac and we have two bags of white Kennebec. The red Pontiac is something you'd use like if you're doing like new potatoes or just frying potatoes if you want to do that or like boiling them like at a crawfish boil or something like that. The white Kennebec is more like a french fried potato. Um, if you've ever been to a place like Five Guys or David's Burgers, the fresh cut fries, usually the white Kennebec is the variety for that. So we like those. They're also good as new potatoes too. But we've got a mess here. These have a lot of roots. We're probably gonna take these roots and just throw them in. I don't know if they're gonna grow or not, but we're just gonna throw them in as we go. And rather than cut these up like we normally would, since they have already pretty much dried up a lot, giving energy to the roots and the growth, we're just gonna put in the whole potatoes. Don't rip the roots off because they're gonna need those because this will give them a head start growing. And so we're just plant. it'll still be fine. They'll grow back. So we're still gonna take these and plant them like a foot apart. Um, I didn't bring anything to measure with, so we're just gonna step it off and see. So come along with us and 
Abby's gonna grab a handful. Let's start our row about right here. Yeah, that's fine. Just drop it in the middle of the row. Some people say that the eyes need to be up and all that, but we don't really pay attention to all that. We just throw it in the ground and it grows. Nope, a foot. So, about right there. About the end of my toe. Foot. On your foot. My foot, not your foot. Okay. My foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'll just do this here. Dang. I got them on her head up. Oh, here's one. I said something like that. I've got a bunch in my hand. I lost track. Huh? Lost track. Right there. Right there. Oh. Twin tomato. Potato or tomato? Tomato. <laughs> tomato with tomato. Right now. And the footprint. Footprint. Back there, yeah. Right here. Yes, put it in the middle. No, no, I'll break that one in. We're dropping into everywhere. Here, I'll throw you some over there. Wait, I'm over there, guys. And then I'm going to. Here. Just put them in your palm. That's about a foot. Let me go grab the camera. Kimberly and Izzy had to run to the house to get some stuff, so we lost our camera person. <laughs> hey, let's see if that works. Come here. What? Take two of your feet and put them beside mine. See if it's... It is! Two of them. Pretty close. It's a little bit longer, but that'll work. So maybe like a step and a... There you go. A half step. Over here. Huh? <laughs> this row's like 400 feet, so I don't know if it's going to take. This is going to take a while. Yeah. Tomato, potato. We'll do like whenever we plant the plants. I'll throw one down every so often and you put them where they're supposed to go. So don't worry about those, we'll come out and get those. So just check, make sure these are a foot apart. So all I do is just step like this? Just step it off and make sure it's right. If it's not, move it. Okay, yes, hang on. Just keep that one in your hand and leave the one that's there. You can just have an extra one to put at the end. Like that one? Okay, yeah, and then step. Oh, wait, no, no, you just took a big step. Put it at the end of that foot. That's, that's the one there. Okay, go past that. Nope, that's good. Kind of. There's plenty to put down. Don't bump the camera. What? Don't bump the camera. Come around it. <laughs> That's way too far. Put it closer. <laughs> Hang on, watch that. She'll show you how. We'll show her. You have to walk down in the ditches. Put it up in here and in my foot. 
You know, put it at the end of her foot. No, let me do it. Okay, let her do it, Dabs. Let's I want see. To I'm gonna do it. Hang on. Nope, you gotta get past. Put your foot after that potato is. Okay. It's fine, Dabs. But I was doing that. She's. Y'all are both gonna do it. I'll go get my potatoes. Okay. I mean, like I said, there's there's two more bags to do after we do all these, so there's plenty of work to do. What'd she do? Huh? Oh, it's fine. Nice. Just be nice. Like I said, there's plenty of potatoes for everyone. They're fine, they're fine, they're fine, because I'm going to cover it up with dirt anyhow. There's, it's just, hey, what are you doing? Is this dragon fruit? No, 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 do not touch it. I don't know what that is. Are you not playing anymore? Yeah. Okay. What are y'all doing? Are you going to get all that energy out so you'll sleep good tonight, huh? Yep. Hmm? I cannot believe how big those roots are. Can you come grab that and move it? Grab which one? There's two right side of side. I dropped it. I'm afraid if I bend over, I'll drop all these others. I don't think we've ever had him get this big before. No. We've had some that put off some shoots, but nothing like this. So I don't know if these roots are going to grow. They're just so I've been kicking them in the hole. Might as well. They might. You never know because potatoes are pretty resilient. It's not going to hurt anything anyhow. Nope. It's got to be better than last year anyway, the way they all just <laughs> got too wet and rotted. <coughs> we didn't have any last year. Nope. Tried. <coughs> you don't know what it is? <coughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kind of misjudged that one. <laughs> Funny, <laughs> hey, can you grab those? Hey, hey, those roots right there. 
Toss them in the hole. What hole? No, no. Leave those that are... Hey, hey, put those back in the row. <laughs> the ones that are outside of the row. What's All those... in the hole? hole? Put them in there. <coughs> Any oh. that you find that are just the regular roots. No, no, don't just toss them. They have to go in this side. If these come up and actually grow plants, I'll be able to show how we kill our potatoes. I tried to explain it a few times in a couple of chats online that we were in and some people disagreed with it so they never heard of it but it's the way we've always done it we usually have great success except for like I said whenever they all rotted because it stayed too wet so hopefully they'll come up and we can show that tomato not a tomato. Because the way we do it is we actually let them get, I don't know, eight to ten inches tall. And then we'll run and we'll pull all the dirt up till there's just a couple inches of leaf sticking out the top. And we'll do that a couple of times. And like I said, we always have a good harvest when we have a harvest. Okay. There was a lot more red Pontiac potatoes in the bag than we anticipated and they're going a lot farther than we thought they would. So we decided to change gears and start the white Kennebec because generally they come, the potatoes, this is a smaller one, but usually they're bigger potatoes when they send those. And since we're not cutting them up and we're just planting whole ones, we figured maybe they wouldn't go as far. And so rather than having to make a third row, maybe we can just finish the rest of this row out in the red Pontiacs. But we're gonna see what happens and go from there. That bag just doesn't even look as full as the other. Do what? So the bag doesn't look as full as the other one. Which one? The, the one we refilled? Yeah. Because that was two bags that okay. we dumped. And so it's probably... Surely that's more than a bag we cleaned though. I don't know. I don't know either. We're going to plant these a little closer together probably too. Okay. So I really don't want to make a third row. <laughs> That'd be a lot of potatoes to dig up. Hmm? This would be a lot of potatoes to dig up. Be good for the girls. Mm -hmm. We actually have an old video of them picking up potatoes when we were digging them. It's from Is it three or four years ago. Or? I don't remember what it was. Maybe 2020? That'd be about right for. Izzy would have been. It would have been summer, so it been before two, yeah. three. But I think our first video ever was spring of 2020 when we know he did the high tunnel mm -hmm. video. So it would have had to have been. It was that year, 2020. so. 2020. Can I help? Yeah. Hey, I want that one. Ooh, it looks like potato. Okay, on these we'll put them a little closer together. Pick one of those up and move it. <laughs> Good aim. Exact same spot. Like father, like daughter. Yeah, this girl knows her potato spacing. I've been doing that for like two years. Longer than that. Four. <coughs> Probably four. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? I have a bad cough. Yep. Who's that? Who's that? Huh? Mm -hmm. Is it Granny? Oh, no, it's not Granny. Uh, yeah, it's Granny. Yeah, it's Granny. She can't see you, baby. I see a red bird. Way off in the distance. Are you helping? Yes. Right here to listen. Yeah.
You're like, I'm not no, getting wait, tubes. This way. Potato! Hey, just try to put them where they're... There we go. Potato. Potato. Hey, don't forget your potatoes over there. You're being silly. This one's all rattled up. Can That's I give okay. it to the dogs? No. Can you? Can I eat it? What? No. Plant it. What? It's kind of shriveled up. She's like, can I give it to the dogs? To the emus? Can I eat it? To the birds? <laughs> to the ducks? Are you no. Plant? Or not? plant. Chicken. Potatoes? There's still some room down here. Tomatoes! And she's got a couple still left. Hurry up, grab them. Gotta see how far they go. Well, she left a couple behind. I keep on with them. Bye! We left another one behind. Is that the last one? I think Izzy's looking for four leaf clovers. Is that what she's doing? I she's down on the ground doing something. Yeah. Last year, year before last, she was big on trying to make fairy gardens too, so. And she might be doing that. I don't know what she's doing, but she, she's it. over in the grass doing something, but there's a clover patch over there, too. Ah. Uh. Tomato! Potato! Sunset's tomato. really pretty. Huh? Tomato. Sunset's really pretty. Yeah. Can you see it on camera? Yep. Potato! That's it. We're done! I think, as long as we didn't miss any. We've done that row and that row and it's... Okay, now let's go change pieces of equipment. We're going to put on our row hipper and cover them up. Okay, so we're a lot dirtier now and two kids short. They played out on us before we finished, but we've got our potatoes planted. It was, those initially were 50 pound bags, so, but they shriveled up some, so they weighed less than that. But so roughly a hundred pounds of potatoes. These rows are, I think around 400 feet long, give or take. And so we plant them a little bit closer together than we normally would just to fill up the space because I didn't want to have to do a third row. Um, we used our row hipper to hip them up. We normally wouldn't hip them up or heal them up that high simply because uh, it takes them a while to grow. But as long as those roots were sticking out, we felt it was better to go ahead and cover them up because I think they're going to shoot out anyhow. Um, but that's how we do that. Like I said, we hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, we'll be at the Oki Homestead this weekend. So make sure you, if you see us, you come by and say hi and we may have something for you. And if we get to a thousand subs, we will definitely go live. If you share this video or share our channel and help us get to the thousand subs, leave a comment that you did so. And once we hit 1000, we will do a drawing and send out something free. 
So you don't have to attend the expo to win. You just have to leave a comment on this video or on one of our videos saying you shared our channel and to help us get to a thousand subs. We appreciate you for watching and we hope to see you soon. Catch you next time on our way out. Bye.